but within a family. Do I? Okay, welcome to uh, episode two of the Oshkosh Beer Show. I'm Lee from the Oshkosh Beer Blog. And I'm Adam from McCann Carlson Wines. And uh, today we have beer from Surly Brewing Company, which uh, came into Oshkosh uh, kind of by storm last week. You started getting it here on... Uh, Wednesday was our first delivery, actually. Yeah, we got uh, seven different flavors that day. And now they've got it. Uh, it's at Festival, in the hidden in the back cooler. Uh, Skis has, I think, uh, five different... Five or six different uh, types of surly beer, and you've got how many here? Uh, I've got six myself. Six here, okay. Yeah. Um, and the beer we're going to be drink. Well, one thing I I wanted to get into. So, like, when did surly first start coming into the market? Uh, about eight months ago, they uh, dipped a toe into the market with Bitter Brewer, which is uh, an English style bitter, uh, kind of smaller, smaller beer. Um, and then you know, there was a promised uh, entry date of April first, and wound up last week. So, so why did that all happen? You know, why did it take so long? Um, I think it was the ramp up of production from their new brewery. Uh, I believe it was a $25 million facility up the uh, University of Minnesota campus, which amped up their production uh, substantially, we'll say. Yeah. I think they, they also entered uh, Chicago about six months ago. And Iowa, too, I think they just went to yeah. Iowa as well. Yeah. yeah. So now they're, I, like last year they did 42,000 42, barrels. This year they're shooting for 65,000 barrels. So, okay. I mean, they're growing quickly. This is a. Turn it into a, a, a big region. Yeah, the, brewery. the difference between their former brewery and the current brewery is just is night and day. I, I wouldn't be surprised if their uh, total output will exceed a hundred thousand barrels. And you've been to that tap room there, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's gorgeous, state of the art facility. It's really a, a showpiece. And that's in Brooklyn Park. Uh, that was the former brewery. The current brewery is actually, I believe, in, in the city of Minneapolis proper, just just outside the University of Minneapolis Twin Cities campus. Okay, and I heard they have like 140 beers on tap in their tap room. Is that true? Uh, <laughs> it's something. I, I think they may have 140 taps total. I think they have maybe like probably 20 of their own beers yeah, on tap. Yeah. But just, I mean, even like the uh, the beer hall itself is just it's incredible. You could probably fit four or five hundred people in there, and there's a beer garden outside. It's uh, it's a gorgeous place. That's overwhelming. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, so we're going to have today, we're having Surly Cynic Ale, which is a Saison. Uh, this is a Belgian-style beer. Um, let's dig into it. A cracker? Yeah. So this style of beer, um, you know, this is a old style of beer. probably dates back to the Middle Ages. No one can really specify a starting date for it. Um, but these modern interpretations of it are quite different from that traditional style beer. These are quite a bit stronger. Uh, for home brewers, uh, the starting gravity of this beer is 1057. It finishes at right around 1007, which would... Uh, hi, guy. <laughs> which would... Uh, makes it about 6.5% ABV. Uh, so it's a, it, it's a dry beer. You know, it finishes uh, pretty dry. Yeah. All right, what are we getting here? Well... A little no. bit of haze, you know, usually with some of these saisons, you get significant uh, cloudiness. Yeah. It. This is a fairly clear. Well, not as much, I guess, rocky kind of head no. carbonation as I was expecting. Some of them can be pretty wild. I mean, the like, uh, saison duponts and the some of those, yeah. really, you know, you have to pour, pour carefully because of the carbonation. Yeah, and I wonder if is, that has anything to do with the can. I mean, does the can have uh, less, hold less pressure? Uh, hi, guy. <laughs> You know, it, it could be, and actually, uh, Surly's had some can carb issues in the past. Yeah. They haven't been able to carbonate properly in the can, so. So, I mean, off the aroma, I get a lot of uh, yeast character. It's, uh, I'm getting like a banana, um, kind of a sugary. Uh, yeah, I, I do get that. It's, it's not as pronounced as I was expecting, I guess. This is a little more, more muted. And I get some bubble gum, too. Which I didn't expect from this. I've had this beer before, and I've never picked that up before. Well, the mouth mouthfeel is definitely, uh, excuse me, spritzy, um, more carbonation, kind of lively, uh, prickly, really classic flavors. I think. Um, yeah. You know, I get a little bit like white pepper, cracked black pepper, spice. I was going to say there's a bitterness there that I'm not sure if it's coming from the hops. I would guess this is probably like a Goldings type of hop. I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely not an American hop. I don't think it's not. Oh, so it says Slovenian hops, which would probably need Styrian Goldings. Okay. Which, I don't know if the pepperiness is coming from that hop, or if it's from the from the yeast character. I'm guessing it's probably the two kind of fitting together. Sure, sure. 
It's a well thought out beer. I mean that way. Yeah. Well, it's it's refreshing. I didn't. What was the what was the ABV? Six point five percent. Okay. Well, that's yeah, that'll you know, refresh you, all right. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not perceivable. I don't think. I mean, maybe a slight no, slight no. warmth on the finish, but I get like a a bit of honey. Sure. And yeah. you know, I know what you're saying about it being like uh, sort of prickly like that. Yeah. But it's also a little slick. I mean, there's a yep. little. It's a little coating. Yeah. You know, I and I don't know. Does this scream classic example of saison to you? Well, I mean, if you're talking like Saison Dupont, which is, I think is the one, then no, that has more of like a little bit of acidic character too, and I don't sure. get that out of here at all. Sure. But you know, what American brewers have been doing with this are it's quite a bit different. You know, I don't think they really toe the line on on what's the current iteration of that style. I think of like um, Wisconsin Brewing Company's Zenith. Which yeah, absolutely. Takes it in uh, another direction entirely. Really nice beer. Yeah. You know, I mean, American brewers just. They throw out the playbook, and Ab- but I mean, this is—it's a recognizable saison. It is, it is absolutely. I, I guess I don't get as much of the four kind of bubble gum, um, you know, coriander yeah. type type note that I normally would. Actually, you know, I, truth be told, I'm not a huge fan of saisons and farmhouse sales, but this is I really find is kind of yeah. you know very nice, refreshing. I think and kind of for me more of an introductory style saison. Yeah, I, it's a very drinkable beer. I mean, yeah. I could see having a few of these. And, yeah. That alcohol level, uh, you know, might get on you a little quicker, especially <laughs> yeah. the 16-ounce can, mm-hmm. which uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention. You know, we have craft beer in cans here, and this all originated in Oshkosh. The first craft beer in cans was Cheap Oshkosh Red Lager in 1991. So these Minnesota people are just, you know... And also, uh, uh, they make sure to uh, proclaim it's beer for a glass from a can. So... Yeah. Don't drink it out of the can, I guess. Well, I like this. What do you sell? How much does this go for a four pack? Uh, nine forty nine. Cool. It's a good beer. Yeah, it is. You know, it's 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 very refreshing, easy drinking. And honestly, I mean, this screams hot weather beer. I think you know, it's not it's not over the top in any one category. Yeah. But it's very I think nice. like you know, talk, getting back to like what we were talking about with how they came into the market like this. I was thinking the other day, like in two thousand nine, a new Belgium came here. Sure. Gosh, gosh. The first thing you got is like 22 ounce bombers of fat tire. Fat tire, that yeah. That was it. Yep. And then all of a sudden, some of the other beers, they, they all used to, they used to slowly Trick, come in. trickle in the market. Now, yeah. It's like, that was, what was it last year? Uh, or 2013 Dogfish Head all of a yep. sudden, boom, all these sure. beers. Well, they, they held back actually some of their beers too. I know uh, 60 Minute IPA wasn't yeah. available for probably yeah. close to a year, I'd say. So it's it's interesting how they, they choose to roll, roll out in the market. And for instance, Surly. Uh, Furious IPA is the only beer that's available on draft from Surly in the state of Wisconsin right now, and supposedly the rest of the lineup will be forthcoming. But for now, just Furious on tap. So. And you have that on draft too, don't you? Yes, we do. It's a nice kind of uh, English American IPA hybrid. Uh, nice kind of ready golden malt character with uh, nice American hops. It's it's a it's a very good beer. It's it's uh, their flagship IPA for sure. Yeah, I've, that, and that's on tap. Uh, I know uh, Dublin's have it. Or they had it. I yeah. think they still had it. And uh, Beckett's, Beckett's had, yeah. yeah, Beckett's was going to tap. So I mean, they well. really did come into here like yeah. big time. Yep, absolutely. Well, I'm glad to see it. I like this beer. Yeah, you know, they've got a great, uh, actually, world class reputation, I'd say. And uh, you know, every every beer of theirs that I've had, I think it's been either true to style or, or very high quality. And you know, and I think the prices are reasonable as well. Yeah. All right. Great. Cheers. Pros. Thanks for watching. Thank you.